In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the Coinbase wallet and start using it. And this wallet is great because it gives you custody over your own crypto assets. It's integrated with the Ethereum network. So if you wanted to, for example, trade on Uniswap or do different things on decentralized apps, you can do that. But you can also just hold Bitcoin in the Coinbase wallet and many other cryptocurrencies as well. So for starters, you're going to want to go to coinbase.com wallet. And this is where you're going to be able to download this. Now I'm going to show you how to set this up as a web browser extension because that's where I do most of my stuff with cryptocurrency. However, if you wanted to, you can also download the Coinbase wallet app on your phone and you can use it that way. So once you've chosen which version of the wallet you want to use, you just add it as an extension to your web browser. In this case, I'm using Brave. So you can see that in the top right hand corner, it shows up here as this little icon and I can pin it if I want to so that it's always going to stay here right beside my MetaMask. Now, when you open up the wallet, you can do one of two things. For starters, if you already have a wallet that you wanted to import, you can do that. Otherwise, you can hit create new wallet and it's going to give you a secret phrase. These are 12 different randomly selected words that are the key to your crypto wallet. So if somebody gets access to these 12 words, they are going to be able to steal your cryptocurrency. And it's very, very important that you write these down in a safe place, not on your phone, not store it in the cloud, but write it down physically on a piece of paper and store that somewhere very safe and never let anyone look at it. Once you've written down that secret phrase somewhere, you also need to create a password for the browser extension. Now, if you want to, you can create a username that's going to be whatever name you create .cb.id. However, you can also import an ENS name if you want to. So if you have a .eth name, then you can use that in conjunction with your Coinbase wallet, if that's something you're interested in. I'm going to leave the nickname things to the side for a second because it's not actually super important. But at this point, we now have the wallet set up. It's ready to go. All we need to do is get some crypto into it. Now, there's a few different ways that you can do this. For starters, you can hit on the buy button and you can actually buy directly or transfer from your Coinbase account if you have a Coinbase account. On the other hand, you can also just transfer some crypto assets from a different account into this one. And when you hit transfer from another wallet, you're going to see the list of all of the different addresses that are associated with your Coinbase wallet. So you can see here I have Ethereum, Solana, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and Litecoin to start. So if I wanted to say fund my wallet with some Ethereum, all I would do is copy this wallet address. Then I could go to another wallet where I have some cryptocurrency and transfer from there. So for example, in my MetaMask wallet here, you can see I have a little bit of ETH. So I could, let's say, send some ETH to my new Coinbase wallet. And let's say I want to send 0.01 ETH. Then I can do that now for the cost of approximately $1. And I'm actually going to set the priority to low here because I don't care about this going through immediately. And I should be able to save a small amount on the transaction fee. So let's confirm that and wait for it to go through. And as you can see, the transfer has gone through and now I have 0.01 ETH in my new Coinbase Ethereum wallet. If I hit on this, I can see the price of ETH over time and I can see the balances here. Now let's talk about a few things that you can do with this wallet. For starters, with some cryptocurrencies, including ETH and also Matic, you can stake directly in the app if you want to do that. You'll earn 3.3% if you stake with Coinbase right here, although you can definitely earn more if you stake elsewhere. So for example, if you go with Lido or Rocket Pool, you can earn more on your staking yield. And I've made other videos showing how to do that. It's very simple. In terms of other things that you can do with the Coinbase app, well, you can swap directly in the app and you can make swaps on different layer two networks as well if you wanted to save money. So for example, if you had ETH on the base chain, you could make swaps directly on base and you would be paying say one cent for transaction instead of a couple dollars. You can also directly bridge to those different layer twos directly in the Coinbase wallet if you want to. So you hit on the bridge and you select which network you want to bridge from and which network you want to bridge to. Down at the bottom here, the transactions tab is going to show a list of all the transactions that you've ever done with that wallet. So right now you can see all I've done is receive 0.01 ETH from my other MetaMask account. There's an explore tab where you can see different NFT projects and different cryptocurrencies. Uh, I don't necessarily recommend using this for very much. And there's a community tab where you can actually follow other people that are notable. So for example, if you wanted to follow Vitalik's Ethereum wallet, you can hit on the plus button here. And then you can go to his public wallet address within the app here and see what he's been up to. 
Now, another thing that you can use the Coinbase wallet for is to interact with different applications that are on the Ethereum blockchain, but also on other blockchains as well, like Solana and also even Bitcoin. So for example, if you wanted to go to Uniswap, which is the largest decentralized exchange and make trades here, you could go and connect your Coinbase wallet so you're gonna hit this button here. It's gonna pop up in your Coinbase wallet and you're just gonna to have to approve to make that connection. And now you can see my balance shows up and I'll be able to make trades if I wanted to on Uniswap using my Coinbase browser extension wallet. And this is really one of the main things that you would want to use this wallet for because you can actually interact with the Web3 ecosystem. So for example, you can also go to OpenSea, connect a Coinbase wallet this way, and then you can trade NFTs. So yes, the Coinbase wallet is very similar to MetaMask. It has a lot of the same features that you'll see on the MetaMask wallet, and it's equally compatible with all of the different applications that are built across the Web3 ecosystem. Now, if you're thinking about downloading the Coinbase wallet and trying to use that in hopes of a future airdrop, I would say at this point that it's very, very unlikely. Coinbase is a publicly traded company, and they're also currently being sued by the Securities and Exchange Commission in the US, so it is very unlikely that they'll be releasing an airdrop at any point in the future. However, if you just want to use Coinbase wallet as an alternative to MetaMask, it's definitely a good option, and there you have a basic tutorial on how to use it. Hope you have a great day.